What's going on, you guys? AJ Tucker here with AJ Self Defense, man. And this one right here is about, uh, it involves Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I want to talk about this because when it comes to self defense, attackers come in all shapes and sizes. Now, in this case, she did not attack someone, but she did not defend someone. And she actually pushed somebody aside. So the situation is they went out to Las Vegas and her assistant was uh, allegedly sexually assaulted by one of her security guards or one of the police officers, but she did a big cover up. I'm just gonna let this ride real quick. Does not name people who possibly were a victim of an unwanted sexual encounter. According to her complaint, the woman says she went to dinner with an unnamed Dalton trustee. The complaint then recounts the following events. After dinner, she says she started to feel disoriented, extremely lightheaded, as if the ground was moving. She says she blacked out. According to the complaint, the next morning, she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there, experiencing physical discomfort. She says after returning to Dalton, Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Henyard's security detail and went on the trip to Vegas, told her a trustee on the trip told him that the trustee had unprotected sex with her. So, I mean, it seems pretty cut and dry. You know, you never know. But the thing is, as crazy as... Man, why are you telling people your business? You know, now I'm not saying that I'm not trying to help the attacker, but anybody like, why are you telling your business? You know, like, like you're not a teenager, man. You're a grown man. That's weird. But anyway, so, yeah, the, the officer tried to come in and he even recorded the guy and he goes to the mayor. The trustee called him that night in Vegas. The trustee, he says, then bragged about the sexual activities he engaged in with the woman, Miles' complaint says, suggesting that she may have not had the ability to consent or did not provide consent. According to the complaint, Officer Miles recorded some of this conversation on his iPhone. According to the complaints, the mayor said that if this information became public, she would be ruined. That right there, that right there, like they, she went, she did the right thing. They, the police officer did the right thing. They, they went up the chain of command and they told the mayor and they was trying to, you know, go through the proper channels. And the mayor was like, Hey, if this gets out, then I'm ruined. All the hard work that I put in is ruined. You got sexually assaulted. You were, you were RAPED, but if I take this through the proper channels, all my hard work is going to be ruined. That is not true. That is not true. If she would have defended her person and, and would have been a straight up champion for her and did what she had to do, there she would have been good to go. All the other things, and I've, I've been following this uh, lady for a while, man. It's crazy. She's like a villain out there in Chicago, man, just committing all sorts of stuff, taking taxpayers' money. Uh, but I haven't said anything, but this right here, man, when it comes to defending someone, it's this is when um, it goes next level. So I put this I post this to say, you know, hopefully uh, this woman gets her just due. But also it goes to show you, man, attackers come in all shapes and sizes and, and in different ways. So hopefully, man, they can uh, still keep fighting. That woman ended up being fired, losing a job. And the police officer ended up uh, getting a, like a kind of like a demotion. But in this scenario, man, they just got to keep fighting, man. But keep your head on the swivel. That's all I got for now.